Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pillars of Eternity Backer Beta. Now, the game is a little bit, I don't know, glitchy right now, and I'm not sure when they're going to be patching the game, so instead of continuing and trying to finish off the uh, Backer Beta area, um, I figured, you know what, let's just try different characters and, you know, wait until they actually patch the game and then we'll tr we'll try again to, uh, you know, finish all the quests and whatnots once they've uh, patched the game. So, uh, yeah, a lot of people have been suggesting to try the Chanter. Apparently it's a little bit overpowered class right now, but I have tried it. I have to say, I don't know if it's overpowered. I mean, I guess, I mean, it is. It's definitely stronger than some of the other classes. I don't know if it's because it's overpowered or because it's just an easier class to use. You don't really have to do much, but uh, I figured why not? Let's uh, let's give a try, or let's try the chanter out, and that's what we're gonna do. So let's uh, go ahead and create our character real quick here. We're gonna go male. I'm gonna go human because I do want the resolve plus one and might plus one. I think uh, that combos pretty well. Honestly, though, you can't really go wrong with anything because every single attribute is like really good. So I mean, honestly, I don't think you can really, really make a bad choice. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, everything's good. Anyway, so we're gonna go human, and next, we're gonna go meadow folk. There's no real differences here. They all do the same thing. I don't know if that's gonna stay that way, or if it's just for now, but, uh, we do get the fighting spirit, so once per encounter, five seconds after being reduced below 50% stamina, folk temporarily gain bonuses to accuracy and damage, so it's kind of like a passive ability that happens, you know, once per encounter and only five seconds after you've uh, gone below 50% stamina. So, I mean, I don't think it's something I have to click. I've actually never really noticed it. But, uh, so, I mean, they all get the same. So, we're going to go Meadow Folk just for the hell of it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do our Chanter. So, the Chanter actually is pretty much average in just the basic combat stuff. So, stamina and health is 36 plus 12 per level up which is what I figured out what this is, finally. I thought it was 12 divided by level, I mean, that doesn't make any sense, or 12 times level, that'd be a bit too much. But no, this is 12, you start with 36 and you gain an extra 12 per level, so there you have it, which is considered average. Our, def our deflection is 20, which is considered high, which is not too too bad, because the, uh, the Chanter is, I guess, more melee focused than actual range. As you can see, melee accuracy is 20. Uh, range accuracy is 15, but honestly, I would much prefer playing ranged because I don't know, range just seems much better right now. <laughs> you don't actually get hit all that often. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do like some kind of hybrid build so that we can actually use melee and range. But again, we probably won't even get far enough. This is really just to test out the chanter. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. We've clicked that. So now we got to pick our phrases. So basically, the chanter is like the equivalent of a, a bard, I guess. So in combat, you can sing songs or phrases, and uh, or actually you attach your phrases to a song, and each phrase sung, if you will, uh, gives you one point towards being able to cast like a, a better spell, I guess. I mean, it, once I get in there, it'll make more sense, but uh, I mean, that's the gist of it. It's not considered a spell, it's an invocation or something like that. I'm not quite sure what the name was. Uh, so let's go ahead and just pick our first phrases. I mean, usually everything here is lean, uh, lean towards, you know, either buffing your ally or your companions or debuffing the enemies. So I'm going to go with stuff that actually will make everybody good, like increase the movement rate and reflex of all allies in the area of effect. I like that a lot, so we're going to go ahead and take that. And reduce the slashing and piercing damage of enemies in the area of effect, which would be, would be pretty good too. Uh, reduce this concentration of enemies in the area of effect. Uh, drains a portion of stamina from all enemies in the area of effect. Or this one here, which bestows burning effect on all ally weapons. I'm actually going to go with that. We're going to stick with the uh, ally stuff. Although, I have to say, this one's pretty good, though. Reduces slashing and uh, piercing damage. Very, very good. I've uh, tried a whole bunch of them, and honestly, you can't really make a wrong choice at this stage. Everything is pretty good. So let's go ahead and go next. So, uh, invocations. So there you go. So once you've sung enough songs, or you've, you've accumulated three points that you can use to your uh, invocations, this is the spell you can cast, which are a little bit more, you know, powerful. Now, this one here calls, uh, calls the, uh, the Phantom to fight now. I haven't tried the Skeletons, I've tried the Phantom, very good, I'll, however, very glitchy right now, so I'm going to stay away from the actual summons and just focus on things that are, uh, you know, that will benefit our, like, all our companions, pretty much. 
Uh, decrease the slashing damage. Creates a thunderous explosion. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go with this one. Reduces damage threshold of enemies in area of effect. That's actually very good when I tried it. Like, the enemies were taking much more damage. I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, it says reduces damage threshold. It doesn't actually give us a number right now. In the game, it will, though. But, um... Yeah, it was very good, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, what are we going to do here? Well, first things first, I'm going to keep it average pretty much in everything. Uh, well, not everything, but the first three anyway. So, Might, Constitution, and Dexterity. Whoops, Dexterity. We're going to go 12. Now, the Dexterity increases our accuracy, so obviously it's a must. Constitution, well, since we're going to be in the thick of things, we're going to want you know a decent amount of stamina and health. And uh, might, well, if we want to actually do some damage, uh, you know, it makes sense to have it. So we're getting plus one from being human. Now, perception is probably the only one that I probably don't need a lot of. Yeah, improving their chance to cause an interrupt. I mean, you know what? I'll go ten, but I'm not sure if I even need it that high, to be quite honest. Uh, then now, Intellect and Resolve, though, I'm going to want a decent amount. Uh, intellect increases the duration and area of effect of our spells and whatnot, so this is going to be very important as well. I'm probably going to pop it at 15 for now. And Resolve will inc uh, increase our concentration, which is going to be very interesting and important for when we uh, actually... Um, Hang on, I think I might want more resolve, actually. Yeah, 15, 17, we're going to get another point in resolve. Yeah, concentration when we're actually casting our invocations. So, we, uh, as far as I know, concentration allows you to cast it faster, or you can take more damage without being interrupted. I'm not quite sure exactly, but all I know is that it's good. <laughs> so let's, let's stick to that. Now, in this one here, we're going to go with um, something that will increase our resolve. Was it resolve, actually, that I wanted? Yeah, it was resolve. So we're gonna go with this here, actually, uh, which will give us plus one resolve. I think there's another one that gives resolve. Yeah, we can be the uh, examental planes. Exament examental planes. I don't know, fuck, so, something like that. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one here. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce these because uh, I will fail miserably. So right now, what the fuck? Now we're supposed to be 18. Supposed to be 18, something fucked up here. 15, 12, 12, 12, 10, 15, 17, right, next. Why isn't it... That's weird. Anyways, whatever, I'll leave it at 17. I'm gonna take this anyways. Not sure why it's not... I, 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 would, I thought it would be 18, but anyways. Uh, so there we go. Uh, what am I going to be? I'm going to be a drifter because I kind of like the whole idea of being a drifter. Plus for a, a chanter it kind of makes sense, I guess. I don't know. Uh, you are more comfortable on the, ro uh, on the road traveling the world. So there you go. I mean, everybody's a drifter at heart, I think. <laughs> Anyways, I am. So there you go. This is our, this is our guy here. So we're going to go ahead and just randomly choose colors. Well, not really randomly since I'm actually selecting them, but... Uh, Anyways, no, purple, you. Let's go with no, that's horrible. That's too, too much, too much. That's all I'm going to say. Now let's just go standard brown. There we go. Let's go with the, uh, let's go with the fair uh, skin and hair. We're going to go black, I guess. You know what? No, we'll leave him blonde. He's a chanter after all. He has to be charismatic. Actually, it doesn't really have to be, but, uh, so let's go with this one here. There we go. That's our guy. I don't like this orange now. I've changed my mind. Let's go something a bit more brownie, brownish, brownie. Actually, that's not too bad. There we go. That's our guy. Facial hair, none. Head. Uh, why are you turning as I'm doing this? Eh, we'll take this one. And hair. Actually, I like the hair. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, let's go with the slick, the slick look. There we go. Next, uh, portrait, something human-y, uh, boring, boring, I guess that could be kind of chantery, it's got the hair and all, let's go with that, let's take that, male voice, next, uh, name, I'm not quite, quite sure, we're gonna call him Brando, Oop. or Brandon, rather, and, uh, there we go, so, done, let's do this. Now we are in the game, we shall start combat immediately, but first let's just quickly level up our guy here. So what are we going to do here? I kind of like lore since we have two points in lore already. 
We might as well max it out. I guess I could put some in mechanics as well, but you know what? For the sake of just doing it, we're going to go all lore. Now, we're going to get our second uh, invocation. Um, I'm not quite sure which one to pick now. Decreases the slash shock damage threshold of the allies... Well, four allies in the area of effect. Increases the slash and shock damage. Okay. Uh, threshold, right. Um... Uh, Maybe something that'll explode. Drains uh, environments, creates both lightning causing shock damage. Right. No, I don't care for that one. Kind of like that. Let's take this. We shall take that. And there we go. That's it. Uh, next level up. I really wish there was a way to like quickly level up our guy, but uh, we have to go one at a time. One at a time. Okay, so we get another phrase here. These are level 1 phrases. Um, reduce concentration, reduce concentr... No, reduce slashing and piercing damage. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Let's take that. There we go, done. These are very easy level ups right now. Keep doing lore. Uh, whatever, let me, let me try the skeletons. Maybe they're not glitched. I haven't actually tried the skeletons yet, so... We'll take the invocation there. So one more level, and we shall go out and battle. And what are we going to do? Lore. Absolutely. Just max it out. We still have three points. Maybe mechanics. One in there to get two. Well, actually... There we go. Eight and three. We're, we're not going to be leveling up anyway, so eight and three. There we go. Next. Alright, so we get a level two phrase now, though. That's pretty cool. What does this do? Decrease duration of... Of and defends against frightened and terrified. No, I don't care about that. Creates a field of terror. I don't care about that. Causes freeze damage. Well, we already got the fire one. Hmm. This throws an aura of frost upon allies. Kind of like that. Increases reload time and speed of range attacks for all allies. Yeah, that would be pretty good, actually. Reduce accuracy of this engagement. You know what? Let me try this frost thing. I haven't tried everything. I've, I've tried the chanter twice, and I've tried different uh, phrases and invocations. But uh, I haven't tried them all. Let me try this one. I kind of like the uh, sound of it, actually. Let's go ahead. And there we go. That should be it for this level up. So mm. let's go out there and party time. Now, we only have one area to go to because we haven't talked to everybody in town to unlock the other area. And it is loading. Alright, there we go. So let's rock and roll. I'm not going to change the formation of my guys right now just because I don't really feel like it. So right down here, I don't want the uh, the thing to pan out. Uh, down here you can see this like yellowy dot type of thing. That's uh, That's the amount of phrases, or each time you sing a phrase, you're gonna get one point into that in combat. Now what happens when that when you get the point in in there or actually this is not what I want. I want this here or double click. There we go. So we got the our songs here that we're gonna create. So once you've gotten example this one requires three phrases chanted. So once you've done three phrases you're gonna see number th uh, number three down here then you'll be able to use any one of these first level uh, chanter spells or invocations. And uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, you can actually go in here and you can create your own songs. Now the game has chosen this as a basic, which is actually what I would do anyways. This is a very basic one. It will increase our... This one was what? It, whoops. No. Don't do that. This one increases our reflexes. Whoops. Escape. And this one was uh, adds uh, fire damage. Now you don't need to put three. What, what will happen is that in combat you'll sing this one, then this one, and then it'll just repeat itself. And you can... You can actually rename the songs if you want, and you can create a second one here. Example, we'll go with this one here, just to uh, add the frost, and we'll go with the frost song, I guess, could be a thing. The frost song. And there we go, the frost song. And it's just as simple as that, pretty much. Now, in combat, it'll make even more sense, but, I mean, there's really not that many complicated aspects of the chanter, and that's probably why... It's considered overpowered. I mean, I have to say the phrases are very strong, but I think just overall being easier to use than the other classes that I've tried out anyways could be the reason why people are seeing them as overpowered. But it has been confirmed. Holy shit, four engagements were screwed. <laughs> it has been confirmed that... Um, I'm actually gonna... 
activate this. You're gonna switch to ranged. We're gonna cripple this guy here. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, it, ha it has been confirmed by the devs though that they are going to be nerfing the uh, the chanter. So it obviously is overpowered. It's not just you know it being easier to use than the other classes. The, the phrases are very strong. Uh, I chose you right right now. You are going to. Oh, I didn't cast your buff yet. I'm just gonna focus everybody. And it at the same time. I want you to maybe back up just one here. Why the fuck aren't you... Oh! I had, they, they all look alike sometimes. It's a little bit annoying. Why are you running away? You're like the fighter guy. Now we've started singing our songs. As you can see, we got the stamina thing, which I don't know why it's there. Ancient memory. I don't know why two guys are getting ancient memory, but right now we're getting the... Bla uh, well, it's not actually called Blessed Was... But uh, this spell, so we're getting faster movement, and we should be singing this song very shortly. We're going to be getting some fire damage on our weapons. Uh, so let me actually engage you as well with our main guy. I don't know why the fuck our uh, fighter ran away. Someone also pointed out that you have to really click near the feet when you're doing your actions, or else, you know, nothing will happen. Actually, I'd like you to back up just a bit. You, um, actually, let's cast some spells, because this is going to get very tricky right now. Uh, let's go for some damage. Same for you, buddy. Let's just really focus one guy down here. And this see what happens. Holy shit, they all charged in. That's, like, impossible to do right now. <laughs> We're gonna get raped. We're gonna get killed. I don't have enough skills in this game yet to, uh, to handle five lions in one shot. Why, though? That's the first time that there's another one coming, too. That's the first time that's happened to me, and I've done this part like a million times. Usually it's two, sometimes three, and even when it's three I get a little bit uh, scared, but uh, fuck man, that's like impossible. Alright, uh, well, we're gonna keep focusing everything down, and what can we do? One at a time. You can cast, you're casting. Oh, I'm gonna knock on our ass here. Oh, we're gonna get so fucking raped. Oh, that guy's dead, cool. Now, let's... I'll focus this guy here. You're gonna cast another spell. You might as well do that one again, it worked out pretty well. Same for you, you might as well do the fire. Actually, let's go ahead and add some stamina to our main guy. Which is right here. There we go. Okay, so right now we have three points in the thing, so we can actually cast one of our uh, spells, actual spells. Uh, minus, yeah, that's going to be freaking sweet. Now it's a cone. I think it's going to hit all of them. It's supposed to. Or should I? Tr you know what? Let me let me summon the skeletons. I don't know if there we go. Yeah, now I have to actually click on them and actually attack. Oh, there's three that I have to click, okay. Not sure what's going on here, I'm just gonna take our guy. I can't really see him right now, it's very annoying. Plus, I think he's been knocked down. He's gonna die. So it's a, it gets a bit chaotic in combat, I'm, I can't, I, I mean, honestly, right now I can't see a fucking bloody thing right now. Yeah, our main guy's fucked. I think he's KO'd. Oh well. At least he's not dead yet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, talk about difficult fighting this many guys in one shot. It's just it's way too chaotic. Come on, guys. Fuck, fight. Move here. Move back here. You can shoot this guy. <laughs> And we got we got our uh, fighter guy that got knocked on his ass too. We're gonna replenish some of his stamina before he dies. There we go. You, I mean, we're taking such a beating. Fight this guy. Wait, I misclicked. Misclicked. There we go. A lot of pausing. The combat's very fast. Some people have been complaining, and I agree that it, it's just too fast, and the slow is too slow. Oh man, I got, I got, I got beaten bad. But you know what? We actually 
won this. Pretty sure. There we go. So, I mean, we... Is he maimed? No. There we go. The skeletons stay. I think they're not supposed to. Because if they do, that's just, like, crazy strong. Like, we have a crazy party, like, of glitchness right now. But anyways, I mean, that's that's the basics, really, with the uh, the chanter. It uh, usually goes a bit smooth and smoother than that if you actually, you know, engage two or three enemies at the most at a time. But, uh, and of course, you could just mix and match things with the chanter. I mean, honestly, I'd prefer if, if he was ranged, though. I think it would make make him a lot better. But uh, obviously, the game, didn't, or the developers didn't want him to be too strong. Um in range or else it'd be really overpowered. You can actually move in there. You know what, let's... since it's just for fun, let's just start using up all our stuff. You're singing your song, excellent, you might as well go in there and do some damage. And you... go there. So let's see what glitched. Move here. Move here. I have to manual him, though, in combat. It's very annoying. Anyway, there you go. As you can see, we're buffed right now, and, that, and that's why the Chanter's overpowered. I mean, these buffs are crazy. But this is this is why you want to, with the Chanter, increase your intellect and... Um, what's, the, what's the other one? Uh, I'm drawing a blank right now. The... Uh, the uh, what the fuck is it again? Uh, resolution. There we go. A resolve. Resolve? Yeah, resolve. You want Intellect and Resolve, because obviously it'll make casting your spells a lot easier. It's pretty crazy that these skeletons just stick around though, man. That's that's pretty nuts. Pretty, pretty nuts. Let's do one more fight. Let's do it. I mean, we're succeeding pretty well, although we might lose our guys, but who cares? I mean, I'm not actually trying all that hard to be uh, perfect. What the fuck is that? Someone just cast something weird. I wish they would all attack like that. Total crushness. Ugh. It still seems very buggy to me. It's very frustrating because this game is so freaking awesome. Like it's going to be so freaking awesome. It's very annoying that there's a lot of things that don't work too well right now. Anyways, there we go. So we got we took care of business there. And we got some good loots here. So I would like to be able to press Alt to see what the... Uh, oh no, Alt is sneak mode. Or scouting mode. Sneak slash scout mode. But uh, I wish there was a way to highlight objects on the ground though. Just so I don't miss things. Because you can't rotate the camera so like if something is behind this tree... <laughs> Gonna be make, it's going to be pretty hard to actually find it. Alright, let's finish this guy off here. There we go. Alright, yeah, there we go. Destroy. Super magical. I'm not even reading what things do. Come on, skeleton. You go in there. You attack. Attack, I say. There we go. Oh, my god. Oh, I died. Oh, really? If I die, it's game over. Oh, well. There we go. So... Lesson learned, if you di if your main guy dies, uh, it's game over, apparently. The party has died. But uh, there you go. I mean, a quick little sample taste of the Chanter. I may uh, do uh, some of the other uh, characters. I haven't tried the Druid yet, and it actually looks, from what I've read, looks like a pretty interesting class as well. So I might actually do that one next. We'll just try it out and uh, just do, you know, something like this until the game gets patched and I can actually, you know, go in there and finish off the backer beta. But uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you all next time.